It's the latest USDA plan set to roll out across the country. A meat inspection program allowing pork producers to cut the number of USDA safety inspectors at plants in half, replacing them with private inspectors hired by meat companies themselves. This, according to a new in-depth Washington Post report that lays out how the government is neglecting to stop contaminated meat. The pilot program was implemented 15 years ago in five different pork plants nationwide. But the results of the experimental program were staggering. According to a report put out by the USDA Inspector General in May, three of the five pork plants were on a top ten list of worst plants dealing with health and safety violations, many of which included the outright failure to remove visible fecal matter. It's a problem food safety advocates like Alexis Baden Meyer say points to a serious lapse in regulation. We're letting the companies do the job of the inspectors and even control the USDA inspectors, control where they stand on the line and control what access they have to the plant and how much authority they have. It's a very dangerous situation when we already know we have food safety problems. Food safety problems indeed. According to the Center for Disease Control, there are approximately 76 million cases of foodborne illness each year in the United States. 325,000 of them result in hospitalizations and 5,000 of them in death. However, those statistics haven't seemed to slow down the USDA, which is eager to implement this in over 600 hog plants nationwide, all despite the fact that the department has yet to study whether the program is even working. Tony Corbo of watchdog organization Food and Water Watch calls this lack of review disturbing. It's obvious uh, in, the, in the last 15 years, whether it's the, 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 the pilots that they've been running in, in chicken and turkey plants or in the hog plants, that the, there has not been a thorough analysis and their data does not support uh, the theory that this is going to improve uh, food safety. But it's not only food safety advocates that are concerned over this program. It's a sentiment echoed by local butchers like Brian Malone, who worry that the plant's bottom line will negatively impact him and his customers. Yeah, I'd be a little bit leery about it, um, you know, only because a lot of companies nowadays are just worried about the bottom dollar. Um, they're not worried about the customers, you know, they're not really worried about what they're feeding anybody. So the USDA being there is, is a big, big help for all of us because, you know, they make sure everybody does it correctly. An official from the USDA argued that the increase in fecal matter findings is actually a sign that the program is working. He said, we do many more checks for fecal matter in pilot plants than we do in traditional plants. So it is not surprising that we are finding more because that is what our inspection personnel are focusing on. Despite their insistence that the program is working, the department has finally said it will conduct a review by March of next year, with food safety advocates hinging on that as last hope of bringing this program to a halt. In Washington, Amira David, RT.